Hi, my name is Kathleen Morrison, and sorry I can't be with you today, but here's a DVD to show you what we are doing in Leeds to better engage gypsies and travellers and bringing down the barriers both sides. Uh, I'm the Youth Inclusion Worker at Leeds Gypsy Traveller Exchange. I also work with uh, Connections, how to engage young people and how uh, to engage statutory agencies involved with working with gypsies and travellers in Leeds. But not also Leeds, national wide. We work with a lot of young people from different, different areas. To young people is different age range, so basically I work from, say for example, three year old up to maybe 17 or 18, 20, 20s, whatever age they come, we have uh, us at Galeeds Gate help them to uh, engage and get a better understanding of both the settled community and their own community. Um, what? The young kids that we work with mostly is on Cotley Springs, uh, on roadside camps, uh, um, and house, house uh, young people, so basically uh, they have been taken out of school at a, lot of, of a, a young age and they're, um, so for example, eight, nine year old, ten year old have been taken out of school, uh, very uneducated. Uh, um, health needs, um, ups and downs, some have health needs, some hasn't have uh, health needs, but uh, um, yeah, we work with a different age range and for, 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 for the young people itself, they're, um, it's about bringing down the barriers. The best advice I could give to a youth worker is basically bring down the barriers, go in there with open-minded, uh, um, bring down the barriers before you get in there because a lot of agencies, the bosses already already tell them uh, um, that they can't go on site as um, on their own, as a one lone person. Uh, we have proved that, that it can be happen, it, it can happen. Uh, you can bring a lot of young people <coughs> and agencies together. All it takes is for one person to make a difference and they made that that one person be from the travelling community or from the settled community. And when I say the settled community, what I mean is from the people in house uh, community who is not travellers. Uh, um, but all it takes is for one different one person to make a difference. Mm -hmm. We have been working with the youth service now for about, um, on and off, about, well, five or six years. Uh, uh, and we could never get a breakthrough, never ever get a breakthrough with the youth service. And uh, uh, thank God that we've um, we've managed to get a breakthrough. We've been funded by West Yorkshire Police to uh, do a youth project on site, and it was a garden project. And uh, uh, Sarah, uh, um, a, a, a Jamaican girl who was um, down with the barriers because she comes from an ethnic group herself, uh, even though she got told not to uh, um, come on site on her own, she still come on to the site on her own. Uh, um, and she felt um, there was a need on site. Um, so like this last year this project has been so very successful and now that we've got more travelling children involved we've got maybe what 15 20 travelling children going on barge trips bus tra uh, bus, tra uh, bus crafts uh, uh, getting better healthy living um, so yeah it's about bringing down the barriers going in there open minded and letting people know that you're in there to help them, not to stare at them. Mm -hmm. Because let's face it, my community is very suspicious and I can't blame them. This is my son Mandy. Uh, uh, his proper name is George Ralph Morrison uh, uh, and he's 13 year old. Um, George, my son Mandy do go to her uh, Tong High School in Bradford uh, um, and it's against our culture for our young older children to go to school. But if I didn't start from my own children, put my own children, for example, into high school, I wouldn't expect a community to follow. So my, do, my two boys do go to high school and a lot of my older uh, nephews and nieces go to school and a lot of young people on site. When we first started working at Leeds Gate, a lot of, um, it was it was not normal for all the children to go to school. Uh, now it's starting to be normal for these young people to go to school. And we've done a project with the youth service. And what would you reckon about that project, Mandy? They were good. What did you find about it? There was more activities and they were like, just, just tried to organise and everything and we did like a painting down there. What do you reckon about the garden project? It's very good. How did you in, uh, engage with uh, the Gypsy Traveller? How did you find engaging? Well, well, in May, the young people identified an art project for the summer that would en enhance the site. The youth service, which is myself, submitted a one a one thousand pound application to the Outer West Area Committee, which was approved in July. After further discussion with the young people, this led to the commission of High Park Source to work alongside young people and youth workers over a six-week project creating a, a welcome to Cottingley Springs mural and a garden area at the entrance. Kathleen Morris, Morrison, who's the Youth Inclusion Coordinator and leads Gypsy and Traveller Exchange, was an invaluable link throughout the project. Kathleen developed dialogue with the youth service and helped promote a positive understanding and appreciation of the Gypsy Traveller culture.
thanks to the hard work of all the staff the young, and young people, the young people have committed to this project and learned a range of new skills. The community as a whole has shown exceptional interest with, the, with vehicles stopping and residents, including adult males and families, stepping out of the vehicles to express interest and praise to the young people. It seems that this piece of work has encouraged an ex exploration of values, identities and relationships between young and old, which has helped lead to changes in attitudes and behaviour and ultimately respect for each other. And then the, the two weeks after that we'll be doing the spray painting. Yeah. I'm, like, I'm not here to tick tick boxes. If I was here to tick tick boxes then I'm sorry to say I tick a hundred tick boxes a day. It's a, I'm here to engage better lifestyle for gypsies and travellers and if we're all singing from the one song seat and we're all in there we're robbing children of a lifestyle choice, you know, I mean, we're, we're robbing children of a life life expectancy because if these children are getting took out of school at eight year old, they're not, some of them can't read and write. Mm -hmm. And for ones who can barely read and write, they're, um, they can't go into the doctors and NHS or uh, whatever and pick up uh, healthy living booklets. And So obesity is going to be very big in the community. Uh, um, and for example, um, healthcare is going to be very big in the community. So we're trying to prevent this before it even gets any bigger than what it is, to be honest with you. Okay. There's not many agencies working with these young people, getting them involved because of their age range. The youth service is 11 plus. Obviously these young people, these girls, is only 10 and then you've got younger. So we'd like more agency input to get these young, pe young kids involved. The garden project has uh, been so successful that these young people, every Wednesday, they come on site, big youth bus, and they're um, maybe they DJing, maybe they hopscotch, uh, mosaicing, or whatever, but there's something there for these young people, for the boys. For the girls, and for the boys, it's like building uh, materials, uh, motorbike, um, Mechanicans, and um, for the boys, uh, for the girls, it's like um, we we we've got a course starting up for hair and beauty. Uh, um, now people might say, well, must, why should travellers get the special needs? But it, the reason why I think travellers should be so special is because any other ethnic group, group is that dying at 50. The life expectancy for a gypsy is only 50. Infant mortality rate is bigger than Afghanistan, and they're not my words. I mean, they're university words, you know what I mean? I guess I am the one that's done the studies with them, but it, it's, it's the truth, you know I mean? Children is getting robbed of a lifestyle choice, uh, and children is dying, basically, all because of poor access to GPs, poor access to mainstream activities, and we can, we, can, we can overcome this, we can tackle this together, and to be honest with you, I know deep in my heart, if travellers is given just a fair, fair chance, they could be the next generation of the next big thing, you know what I mean? Because it's been proven that when travellers is given a chance and educated, they're not just there for themselves, they're there for everyone. And it's about bringing the barriers down both sides. But also, respect, to give respect, you've got to earn respect. But the best advice I could give to workers is when you go into these, my, organi my community, uh, approach the organisation that is, for example, if you were coming to work in Leeds, approach Leedsgate. Uh, uh, get the workers to bring yours on. It's no use going on site as yourself because mm. it's not going to happen. Uh, um, and do a bit of research first, do a bit of diversity training. You need to do training uh, um, because training is everything. People go in there thinking they know everything about gypsy and travellers when they don't know nothing. Uh, um, and that's both sides. I mean, our, our community needs to be uh, trained as well. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'll be the first to say that. Uh, our community do need trained. But uh, um, it's, it's, it's about engagement and it's about engagement with young people and uh, uh, hopefully we can work together to make a better youth service and make a better lifestyle choice for gypsies and travelling children in Leeds and everywhere.